talk about drama, controversy, and politics, bruh. Hey, Norbs, my man Norbito, is out here tapping pockets, baby. Out here tapping pockets all 2023. URL, it makes sense now as to why we got a gnome impact and not a regular gnome card, bro. A night of main events. It makes sense now. It makes sense why we're getting Summer Sadness 13 instead of a mega packed card this summer by URL, bro. It's all making sense, bro. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that Nobs is about to run the URL's pockets dry, bro. Let's talk about it. Wow. Wow. This is pretty revealing news that we're about to go over. This is pretty revealing paperwork that we're about to go over. If y'all been paying attention, for y'all that rock with me, if y'all pay attention, I've been asking this question in my past few blogs. It's even in the title of my most recent blog. URL, what the hell is going on over there? URL, what's going on over there? We supposed to be the NBA of battle rap, bro. We supposed to be the Mecca. We supposed to be where battle rap lives. We're supposed to have the biggest events, the biggest battles. It's a machine that you guys got over there. Why is it that it seems like the URL is unable, bro, or incapable of giving us matchups that we want, bro? Why is it that it seems like URL is incapable of making these things happen that we want to see happen? Why is it? I've been asking this question on my, my previous few blogs. I've been asking this question because I'm not going to hold John Gnome Impact to me was a fail, bro. Night of Main Events. That's supposed to be a card similar to Summer Madness, bro. Where we have big matchups. Where we have matchups with big names. We have matchups that the culture wants to see. These are the types of things that happen on Gnome cards and Summer summer uh, summer summer madness cards and things like this was supposed to happen but that's not what's happening this year bro that is not at all what's happening this year and i think that today i might have come across a post with some paperwork that potentially explains why it is that the url is unable to give the culture what they want bro and this is paperwork that has to do with Norbs's lawsuit with the URL, bro. This is paperwork that has to do with Norbs's lawsuit versus the URL. And in this paperwork, bro, it is revealed that Norbs is asking for millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, bro. URL is currently not in a position where they can be dishing out money, bro. They are not currently in a position where they can be throwing bags at these events, bro. They're not in a position where they can get or pay big names and pay big money to the names that we need to see in order to feed the culture, bro. They are currently not in a position to do that. Also partially explains why Smack, right? We all know Smack to be a very calm, cool, and collected individual, right? Even in interviews, he constantly talks about the fact that he doesn't address drama, controversy, the politics, right? Regarding URL and the business of battle rap, right? But that recently we saw and we witnessed, we all witnessed Smack having meltdowns. We witnessed Smack having meltdowns, bro. Right in front of our faces on Twitter with K-Shine going back and forth with a battle rapper. Something that we would never expect of Smack. But this situation that has to do with URL, the business, Chico going missing apparently, going ghost, right? These situations all have to do with this enormous lawsuit that's currently going on, bro, between Norbs and the URL, bro. That lawsuit is single-handedly taken down URL. They haven't even been, they haven't even been forced to pay anything yet or nothing like that. 
And this lawsuit is already significantly impacting the URL, bro. And it's so sad to say that because URL is the NBA of battle rap, right? So we don't want to see URL vanish or disappear or be finished, right? Because we want to continue to see battles. We want to continue to basically see battles. That's what we want. So it kind of sucks. But at the same time, this is what happens, bro. This is what happens when the URL decided to do what they did with Norbs, bro. This is what happens, bro. This is your sweet, sweet karma. URL coming right back to bite y'all in the ass, bro. Y'all forced, y'all forced Norbs out of the picture, bro. Forced that man out of the picture, even though he was probably a quarter of the business himself. Smack, Beasley, Chico, Norbs. This man was a part of the business and you guys forced him out of there, bro. Didn't buy him out. Didn't offer him any. Nope. Y'all gave him a URL TV app, the subscription. That's what he said y'all gave him, bro. Y'all forced that man out of the picture, bro, because of greed. Because of greed, bro. Because y'all knew that y'all would have to pay this man at some point because of the services that he provided to y'all, bro. So y'all wanted to cheat. Y'all wanted to cheat the system. Get this man out of there so we wouldn't have to compensate and wouldn't have to pay this man the lump sums of money that he was going to be demanding because of the work that he provided for you guys. You guys knew this. You guys foresaw that you were going to have to pay Norb something because he was a part of your business, bro. So this is bittersweet because I don't want the URL to have to cough up so much money, bro, that they become non-existent. But at the same time, they have to pay for what they did. Literally pay for what they did. Not pay, like get in trouble, or no, pay money. You gotta compensate that man for the services that he provided y'all. And the damages that y'all did to that man after y'all forced him out of the picture, bro, due to greed. Due to greed, bro. This is why this is so bittersweet. Because it's like, again, I don't wanna see URL disappear and vanish, but I also wanna see them pay for what they did, for sure. This is the paperwork, right? This is what the paperwork says. Let's go over this real quick, man, because this is very interesting. I want y'all to know what's on this paperwork, right? So this is a post that I caught on Facebook. After working on business related to the URL for 10 years, plaintiff received notice from URL that he was no longer involved with the URL. Without any formal tracking system, from defendant ultimate rap league plaintiff estimates that he worked approximately 20,000 hours in the 10 years on the url business in july 2020 plaintiff learned that url had a deal with caffeine plaintiff norbs in july 2020 norbs learned that url had a deal with caffeine to be its anchor content provider where Caffeine raised over $100 million to invest in battle rap content. $113 million to be exact. $113 million to be exact. Plaintiff has cooperated with defendants and has helped to grow the brand of the URL. Plaintiff Norbs has cooperated with defendants URL and has helped to grow the brand of the URL. Plaintiff Norbs gave valuable services to the URL and was not a volunteer. URL accepted these services, received the benefit of such services, and knew that plaintiff expected to be compensated. So we knew we was going to have to pay Norbs at some point, which is one of the reasons we decided to force we decided to force him out of the picture the way that we did. In the humiliating, embarrassing way that we did that. All services given by the plaintiff, Norbs, to the URL and the named defendants were provided under such circumstances that defendants knew plaintiff expected to be paid. On multiple occasions, when plaintiff, Norbs, talked to defendants, URL, through social media posts, plaintiff made it clear he expected to receive compensation if any monetary funds were received by defendants through the URL brand. So that $100 million investment or whatever the case was would have been through the URL brand. 
that would be through the through, so Norbs would be entitled to some of that money, pretty much. Defendants Troy Mitchell, Eric Beasley, and Gene French, Smack Beasley and Chico, are jointly and severally liable to Plaintiff Velez for their actions that resulted in plaintiff's damages. Wherefore, Plaintiff Velez demands judgment against defendants in an amount to exceed $500,000 with interest and costs. All right, let's go to the next one. Defendants Troy Mitchell, Eric Beasley, and Gene French are jointly and severally liable to Plaintiff Velez for their actions that violated plaintiff's right of publicity. Wherefore, Plaintiff Velez demands judgment against defendants in an amount to exceed $500,000 with interest and costs. Now we get to prayer for relief. It looks like this is what Norbs is requesting. This is what Norbs is requesting. Wherefore, because of the foregoing, Plaintiff the, the Goberto, Dagoberto Velez hereby respectfully requests the following relief. This is where it starts to get interesting. And this is why, and this is where I feel like this is why URL is not giving us what we want to see. Because the URL currently cannot afford to give us what we want to see. Because this is what Norbs is requesting. And URL doesn't know yet if they're going to have to pay Norbs and give Norbs all of this or not. They don't know. So they got to save up some bread because Norbs is out here running pockets. Norbs is out here tapping pockets. So first of all, A, com compensatory damages for $70 million. This is why we couldn't pay a verb to do a battle on Summer Madness, bro. This is why we didn't have goods and calico battle on Summer Madness. Because they about to cough up over $70 million, bro. <sighs> Karma's a bitch. Karma is a bitch. And a 10% royalty. Hold up. So compensatory damages for $70 million and a 10% royalty in perpetuity of all the quarterly revenue of the Ultimate Rap League, LLC, its subsidiaries, and any successors in interest. So 10% of what they're making off of things like their app. Of what they make off of things like, like uh, the cards and things with like people that he might have discovered and things like that. Bro, 10% royalty. So they would be having to pay Norbs forever. On top of paying him nearly maybe $80 million, bro, in what he's suing for and damages. Bro. Punitive damages for $10 million. This is on top of what I already said. So the compensatory damages, $70 million, plus 10% royalty in perpetuity. That's for the compensatory damages. For the punitive damages, $10 million, bruh. $10 million for the punitive damages. <laughs> Reliance damages, that was B, this is C. Reliance damages for $250,000. These are all damages. These are all what he's asking for for damages. Compensatory damages, punitive damages, reliance damages, attorney's fees, D, E, for a trial by jury in this action of all issues so tri- What? For a trial by jury in this action of all issues so triable. I have no idea what that means. I'm not going to hold y'all. You will probably have to pay for... some part of this trial or something it looks like that's what it's seeming like like they would also have to pay for a part of the trial of this trial because if not i mean it comes out as you know norbs's pockets and things like that but if url loses they're the ones that are going to have to pay f costs of suit i don't know if that literally means cost of suit of the lawsuit and g such other and further relief as the court deems just and proper bruh
just looking at that, just looking at what Norbs is asking for in that list, we're looking at almost 81, 82 million dollars, bro. We're looking at like 82, bro. If anybody is wondering why it is, bro, that the URL seems to be struggling right now, bro. That it seems like the URL just can't get it together, bro. It seems like URL is losing its grip on battle rap. It seems like they're unable to give the culture what they want. It seems like they're unable to get any big battles. It seems like they're unable to do a lot right now. If anybody has any questions as to why this is going on, this is most likely the sole reason that the URL seems to be falling apart right now, bro. This is likely the sole reason that it looks like the URL is falling apart right now, bro. Smack is out here wildin', going back and forth with battle rappers, bro. Paperwork is coming out, letting us know what these demands are, what it is that URL is at risk of losing. I need to know what y'all think of this, man. I need to know what y'all thinking, man. Do y'all think that this is why the URL is slacking right now? Y'all think it got anything to do with the fact that the URL could potentially lose almost $85 million, bro, very soon? Let me know what y'all think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Drew coming at you live and direct from the battle.